Hello and welcome to this video about uh, raster reclassification and uh, rasterization. Uh, let's look how I can proceed with this uh, two big family of operation with raster. Uh, first of all, I have loaded a digital elevation model. We'll uh, deal in details with uh, this uh, kind of product in the uh, next videos. And uh, so you see that here the information is concerned the digital elevation model. Let's say the elevation. You see here there is. Uh, I have the meter of the point and moreover I have loaded as well the Corinne classification, land cover classification. If you have a look at the table, you have this field called code that means the uh, land cover classification according to the Corinne system. Then I want to rasterize this, uh, this uh, vector layer into a, main, a raster layer. First of all, it's important to know that uh, to rasterize a vector layer, you have to be, to, you must have a numeric field. So in this case, you see I have this code is numeric. If I do not have, and let's say I have only a string layer, a text field, I can convert a text into a code, equivalent code by this option let's say equivalent and say create equivalent numerical classes if i double click i click elba corinne i choose in this case let's say i will have all the um the field i can choose a text field then in this case it will tell me the new name of the new field that will be numeric and then it will create so let's say in this case with this function it will assign a numeric value to a text value. Since I have already, I can go and rasterize. I go always on the toolbox. I click Rust, you see, rasterize, vector there, here it is, double click, and it tells okay, which is the layer you want to rasterize, Elba Corinne, which is the field code. Then I set, as we have seen before, the output region. I can leave user defined or user defined for layer, and as we have seen before. And my result will be this one. So you see, it is the vector that is a raster, and with each pixel, we'll have the value of the Corey classification. You see, this is. The value of the corresponding uh, vector layer. When I rasterize, I have as well to define the the size of the pixel of the output layer. Because consider that the smaller is the pixel, the more accurate it will be your raster, but the heavier it will be. So it will be with a lot of megabyte or a gigabyte. So consider advantages and disadvantages. Then I say I want to reclass. What it means to, to reclass? That here you see. I have, as I told before, all the pixels with the value of Corinne. But in this case, I want to group, let's say, all the one class, all the classes starting from two, the other classes starting from three. So how I do? I have the, I can just click array class, here it is, reclassify. And here I want to say which is the, the layer, the last layer, want to classify. In this case, Elba and Cover, or this one is the same. And then here I divide my classes into my interval into classes. In this case, if for the elevation, but I can do the same. So I can put, for example, from zero here it is, from zero to one, from one. To two, sorry, from zero to one hundred, or even more, even better. Since I know that the classes are from one to two hundred, it would be let's say one. Then from two hundred, we are speaking about classes of Corinne and Cover, to three hundred, it would be two. From three hundred to four hundred. It will be three. 
then I can remove and remove this. I can save also this interval to load then later. Then I click OK and the result will be this one. Length over classify. So you see in this case they've been grouped concerning what we've seen before, it's been grouped into classes. So I can go with the information and you see they are grouped. They have used a different order, but see it's two, four, five. So it's it's up to what you put into your classification to reclassification. Then I can do the same for the DEM, the digital division model. I set, let's say, in a different uh, order. Let's say that I've set that from zero to 100 meter, from 200 to 500, and so on. So in this case, you see that this is the, the digital elevation model. And this is the digital elevation model reclassified. So you see here is the highest value and so on. But if I go on the information, you see here it's three. Here, for example, it's two. In this, it's four, it's zero, sorry, and so on. So you see that all the values has been reclassified according to your interval. Then I can also make a say calculation. But the calculation will be shown in the next video. Thanks so much.